Hey, what's up guys? Matt here from Laidlaw's Harley Davidson. So I want to go over with you guys today a hot topic that I've personally been asked a lot of questions about, and that is when the 2021 model year Harley Davidson touring bikes started rolling in, we discovered that Harley Davidson decided to equip them all with a cable clutch as opposed to a hydraulic clutch. Now back, if you go in the 2014 model year, that's when we saw the Project Rushmore, and that's when Harley Davidson applied a lot of changes to the touring bikes, you know, including new front end, new infotainment system, new fairing on the Batwing model bike, new saddlebag latches and things like that. One of many changes they made in the 14 model year with the Project Rushmore was the decision to go to a hydraulic clutch on the touring bikes. Now the Sportsters and the Dynas and the Softtails at the time were still all cable clutch. So not all of the Harley Davidsons went over to the hydraulic clutch. It was just exclusively the touring bikes. So this year the bikes started showing up and one thing we noticed right away was that they went back to a cable clutch on the touring bikes. And so that posed a lot of questions. There's a lot of people you know, asking, well, why did they do that? So I wanted to basically give you guys my thoughts on the whole situation and really kind of go over the pros and cons of each the hydraulic clutch and the cable clutch and talk to you a little bit about what Harley Davidson has told us for the reason to going back to a cable clutch. And I wanna go into a little bit about my personal thoughts and what I personally prefer as well. So let's start off with the pros. We'll start off with the hydraulic clutch first of all. So the pros of a hydraulic clutch are that first of all, they're easier to pull. So let's less clutch effort. So when you're pulling the clutch, especially like heavy traffic situations where you're using your friction zone a lot, your hand can get tired. And so it's always better to have a really easy pull on the clutch. So I actually recently have pulled the hydraulic clutch and the cable clutch right next to each other back to back. And I still feel like the hydraulic clutch is a little bit easier to pull. However, after a lot of feedback that Harley Davidson has been getting from its riders and professional riders, journalists that cover motorcycles, a lot of the perception of the per what they perceive that the hydraulic clutch isn't easier to pull. Now, I think if you got scientific about it and you hooked up a machine that measured you know, the pressure needed to engage the clutch, then that would probably show the hydraulic clutch is a little bit easier, but it isn't a big enough margin, I think really to justify that being a, a major contributor to the reason why a, Harley, a hydraulic clutch on the Harley Davidson's is better. Um, so long story short, hydraulic clutch easier to pull, not everybody sees it that way. Some people actually see it the opposite. Again, I think a lot of that is just perception and not really actually what's going on. I pull them back to back. The hydraulic clutch, in my opinion, is slightly easier. Not enough to really throw a fit over there not being a hydraulic clutch on the bike. But as I'll get into at the very end, I personally like the hydraulic clutch. The other thing is with a hydraulic clutch, you have a very, very predictable, consistent friction zone actuation. So you can always really depend on the, the friction zone being at the same place within the travel of your clutch lever. Um, and that's usually near the end of the clutch lever play, um, which isn't necessarily a good thing. That's actually one of the advantages to a cable clutch. But what's nice is once you develop that muscle memory in your hand, when you take off in first gear, when you're switching those gears, you can, it, it becomes very natural for your hand just to go through the same motion and the same muscle memory every single time. And you know you're gonna get that exact same feeling every single time in the hydraulic clutch um, without it ever really going out of adjustment, which leads me to the next benefit of a hydraulic clutch. Hydraulic clutch doesn't ever go out of adjustment. As opposed to a cable clutch, you've got stretching and things like that that go on on a cable clutch with a hydraulic clutch. You never have to worry about it ever going out of adjustment and changing the friction zone and the feel of your bike. I'm sure a lot of you guys can probably say and, and leave a comment below, uh, how many of you guys have ever adjusted your clutch and it wasn't necessarily adjusted your cable clutch. And although it wasn't necessarily worse, the friction zone was in a different place when you got it out of the dealership. And like a couple times when you first took off on your bike, you kind of messed up and it was jerky because your muscle memory was off compared to where the new adjustment was on the friction zone. I think we've all been there. Hydraulic clutch, that never happens. So. Um, the other benefit of a hydraulic clutch is, you know, servicing. So the, as Harley Davidson per their specs, they want you to service your hydraulic clutch and change the fluid out of the hydraulic clutch about every two years. So that's a lot less than the need to get a cable clutch adjusted. So a cable clutch, you're going to want to get that thing adjusted, you know, every 3000 miles, three to 5,000 miles or so, especially when it's brand new, cause that cable is still stretching quite a bit. 
Now it's easier to service the cable clutch than it is to service the hydraulic clutch, but the service intervals on a hydraulic clutch are a lot longer between the different services than a, than a cable clutch. The cable clutch is more frequent intervals than the hydraulic clutch. So one isn't necessarily better than the other, you know, as far as ser serviceability, one's easier to service, but you have to service it more often for it to be, you know, perfect. So I think that's kind of a wash there. Another benefit to a hydraulic clutch is the clutch line is a little bit more malleable. And what I mean by that is you can contort the clutch line to follow a certain line, navigate around the bike and the fairing and down into the side transmission cover a lot easier than you can with a cable clutch. A cable clutch has a little bit more of a tendency to want to make a big loop and has a little bit more of a rigid material makeup to it. And so it's a little bit more difficult to route the clutch cable where you want it to go and really where this can come into play is if you're doing custom bars and you're trying to route the clutch cable around a certain way the hydraulic clutch line is a lot easier to work with it's also a smaller diameter so it's a smaller footprint on the bike as well so in a nutshell the hydraulic clutch line is just a lot easier to work with and to route throughout the bike when you're doing a custom project. Whereas when you compare that to a cable clutch line, the cable clutch line is almost like a, a rigid garden hose where it only wants to take shape and go one way. So that pretty much sums up the pros of a hydraulic clutch. It's easier to pull, slightly easier. You've got a real consistent actuation as you let the clutch lever in and out. It's smoother. Um, maybe I didn't cover that quite good enough, but just the, the smoothness of that clutch feel a cable clutch, and this is getting really nitpicky, guys. I'm, I'm doing this for, for those of you out there who are uh, snob riders like myself that ride a lot, that every little, every little thing you notice. But on a cable clutch, you have kind of a little bit of a, uh, throughout the range of the motion, it gets easier or stiff, stiffer, almost like a, a notchier feeling to the, the movement in the clutch lever on a cable clutch. I really like the real smooth, uh, even flow of the hydraulic clutch. Again, that's nitpicky, but it's something that I, I, I like the feeling a little bit better. So let's jump into the pros of a cable clutch. So a cable clutch is a lot more simple mechanically. So if anything ever goes wrong with the clutch, you're, it's a lot easier to fix than trying to find parts for you know, a, a hydraulic clutch master cylinder or something like that. And so it's a lot more, it's less mechanically complex than a hydraulic clutch, so easier to service. Thing with the cable clutch as well, and this is a big one uh, that Harley Davidson has mentioned, was a lot of people with the Harley Davidson they prefer the feel of a mechanical clutch or a cable clutch. Just the feeling where you can almost feel the bike and feel what's going on within the clutch uh, through your your hands on the clutch lever. Feel a little bit more mechanical feel, and you, you feel a little bit more connected to the bike. Here's the other big pro to a cable clutch. So a cable clutch you have a wider friction zone. So it's a lot easier to hit that friction zone when you're taking off in first gear, which for beginners is a huge thing. And just guys that just wanna jump on the bike and don't wanna have precision hand work when you're taking off on, on their bike. With the hydraulic clutch, you have a lot narrower a range of motion where you're hitting that uh, friction zone. I know when the Rushmore project first came out, a lot of guys were like having these like jumpy, jerky takeoffs on their touring bikes, it's because you have a very narrow window there within the range of motion on your clutch lever where you're hitting that friction zone. That becomes less of an issue as you're rolling down the road and you go into you know second gear, third gear, fourth gear, but you know starting off in first gear out of a parking lot, you gotta have good muscle memory to go right to where that friction zone is and hold it there and to get a smooth takeoff. With the cable clutch, that's less of an issue. You have a larger window, larger range of motion within the clutch lever range of motion where you're hitting that that friction zone for that reason it's easier it's an easier clutch to use quite frankly um, a lot of the you know I, I follow some of these cop police riders that are real precision guys that do the donuts and are doing a lot of feathering of the clutch in and out of the friction zone all those guys prefer the cable clutch because it's better for precision low speed riding because once again, you have a larger friction zone within the clutch range of motion. Here's the other thing. This is a big one that, that Harley Davidson came out and, and said to the dealers as well. It's you can adjust the friction zone within the clutch range of motion, the clutch lever range of motion. So a lot of times people with small hands, they want to start feeling that friction zone grab very close to the grip. So they don't want to, have to let the clutch out that much to hit that friction zone. 
Well, that's pretty much the opposite of what the hydraulic clutch does. The hydraulic clutch, you gotta let that thing out probably about 85% of the way before you start to hit that friction zone. I think a lot of you guys can agree with me that I've been riding the hydraulic clutch Harley-Davidson's for a while now. So people with smaller hands or people that just have a preference on where they want to adjust their clutch lever to hit that friction zone, you can do that with a cable clutch better and easier than you can with a hydraulic clutch. With a hydraulic clutch, you, you can't adjust where you want the friction zone to lie within the range of motion of the lever. So that's a really big one for Harley Davidson. So the pros of a cable clutch, easier, less mechanically complex. So it's easier to maintenance and service and repair. Uh, you can adjust the friction zone within the range of motion of the, the lever and it's got a wider or broader friction zone window or area within the clutch lever range of motion. So those are the, the big pros to the cable clutch. So me personally, and I don't speak for the motor company, but I'm just kind of speculating a little bit, reading, reading between the lines. I really feel like Harley Davidson probably looked at all the pros and cons and they probably made a decision based on what clutch mechanism is best gonna deliver positive results and, and preferential feel to the majority of our riders. And so I feel like the pros that I mentioned with the cable clutch, that's gonna appeal to a larger base of riders than the hydraulic clutch will. That being said, I personally like the hydraulic clutch better. Is it so much better that if I bought a new bike today, I'm gonna to spend the money to convert it to a hydraulic clutch? No, I think the cable clutch is great. I've ridden them for a long time. Um, how much more do I like the hydraulic clutch? Uh, if I had to quantify it, I'd probably say I'd, I like it maybe 15 to 20% better than the cable clutch. Uh, and is that enough for me to spend the money and change it if I bought a new 21 model year bike? Absolutely not. It's not a big enough difference and not a big enough change in my riding experience to justify going out of my way to try to get the hydraulic clutch. Do I like it slightly better? Yeah, um, the things I like about it, I do like how smooth it is and I do like that real consistent where I just get the muscle memory and it's very consistent in my uh, the friction zone. I have no problem at my age and my skill level with hitting that friction zone and having that real fluid feel of a hydraulic clutch. And so some of the benefits you get with a cable clutch don't really pertain to me or I don't really benefit from them because I don't, they're, they're kind of irrelevant to, to me and where I'm at in, in my riding. And so I don't really see those benefits. I think Harley Davidson probably just weighed all the pros and cons uh, of, of both and decided that there wasn't really a huge benefit to going to the hydraulic clutch based on the complexity it added to the bike and I'm sure it costs more as well. So they probably reduced costs on the bike, they reduced mechanical complexity and they made more people happy. You know, there's I've seen a, a lot of the internet chatter and I've read in in you know, different chat rooms and things like that, people talking about this topic. And for every person that's mad that they got rid of the hydraulic clutch, I see a person right underneath it that says, that's the best thing Harley Davidson has ever done, it's gone back to the mechanical clutch. So I know this is a very divided topic and um, it, it's an interesting one. I, let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are. What do you prefer, the hydraulic clutch or the mechanical clutch? and you know, give me your guys' thoughts. Like I said, at the end of the day, I think Harley Davidson probably just weighed the pros and cons to both. They decided that there's more riders out there that can benefit from the cable clutch and the small little benefits that people enjoyed on the hydraulic clutch like myself, they weren't worth isolating this other group of riders that prefer the, the cable clutch especially at the extra cost and the extra mechanical complexities you add to the bike as well. That's my final thought, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for your weekly Harley-Davidson content coming your way from Laidlaw's Harley-Davidson. See you guys later. Take care.